Our next example here hopefully is a little less obvious what's going on and how we're going to deal with this. Because this log kind of throws a wrench into things. We have log of some quadratic thing is an O of log of N. And you might look at that and say, I don't even know if that's true to begin with. So what are we going to do? We already know how to deal with polynomials. So why not do the exact same thing we did before? So we're going to start with the expression we had. Log base 4 of 4N squared plus 5N plus 8. And we're going to bound it above by replacing the lower order terms inside of the log with equivalent higher order terms. So I keep the log outside, log base 4 of 4N squared. Then we're going to replace the lower, lower order terms with equivalent higher order terms. You might argue, wait, we want to show this in log of n, but you're changing them to n squareds. We'll see how that works out here. It is not natural that you think this might work. Logs have nice properties, though, and we'll see how that helps us out for this particular problem. Just like before, we need to find out when are these things true. So when is it the case 5n less than or equal to 5n squared? Well, that's when n is greater than or equal to 1, like we've seen before. Similar story, when is 8 less than or equal to 8n squared? The exact same reasoning. That is when n is greater than or equal to 1, just like we saw before. You can go through and do that algebra, but the nice thing about the approach I'm showing you is that this algebra remains relatively similar for every problem. Therefore, you can cut down on the creativity and follow this sort of procedure. Let's collect together like terms and see what happens. Remember that to show that it's in big O of something, we need to show that... It is a constant times the given function. So I am not done with this problem because I have not shown that it's less than or equal to some number times log base 4 of n. I am not done until that's the case. So we have to do more algebra. I'm going to use log rules here to split that log into two different logs. Log base 4 of 17 plus log base 4 of n squared. And now I'm going to use another log property, the main property for logs, which is how can you deal with logs with exponents inside? You can always bring the exponent outside as multiplication. So this is less than or equal to log base 4 of 17 plus 2 log base 4 of n. We're almost there. If you remember, we're trying to show that this is less than or equal to a number times log of n. This second term over here looks like a number times log of n. So we need to do something to make that first term look like a number times log of n. Well, can we do that? There's one way we can do that, which is I'm going to do off to the side in blue again, some more scratch work, which is, is it the case that log base 4 of 17 is less than or equal to log base 4 of n. Hopefully, you remember that log base 4 of a number is a number. In fact, log base 4 of 16 is 2. So this is almost like 2 less than or equal to log base 4 of n. Log of n goes to infinity as n goes to infinity. So that's clearly true eventually. In fact, if I raise both sides with a base of 4, I get 4 to the log base 4 of 17 less than or equal to 4 to the log base 4 of n. And exponentials and logarithms are inverse functions of each other, so they cancel each other out. And we have 17 less than or equal to n. Or, equivalently, n greater than or equal to 17. So, I can make that replacement. I can replace log base 4 of 17 with log base 4 of n, so long as n is at least 17. Remember, that's that n naught that we're trying to capture. So I'm going to replace log base 4 of 17 with log base 4 of n so long as n is greater than or equal to 17. And now, let's do some algebra. I'm going to clean up my handwriting here because it's not great, just to make sure it's fully legible. Log base 4 of n log base 4 of n. We have 1 log base 4 of n plus 2 log base 4 of n. That is 3 log base 4 of n. 
So our original function is less than or equal to a number three times log base four of n. So we're actually done because we now have that it's less than or equal to a number times the desired function. Therefore, my final conclusion that the original function log base four of four n squared plus five n plus eight is in big O of log base 4 of n. And if we want to write it down for ourselves, what are our c and n naught? Our c is the number that multiplies log base 4 of n at the end, which is 3, and our n naught is 17 in this case. You may have been disillusioned after the first two examples into believing that n naught was just always 1, and why the hell is he making us deal with this? When you get messier functions, in particular things like logs, like exponentials, you start to need to deal with this fact that it happens eventually. There's really no way around it, it turns out.